Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. We left this store holiday. number one. The We're now at store number two, Wegmans. Um, but I'm checking on a post that I put up on Instagram, Blogger Life. You do all the work. You put the you do all the work, you put up the blog post, you put up the Instagram, then you check to see how well it's doing. Um God, I miss the old Instagram, I swear I do. So I just put up this post. It has 90 um likes in about two hours, which is not great. And that's the thing about, you know, blogging and doing all of this. You never, you don't really know how things are going to work, you know? Um, you don't know, you don't know, you don't know. And honestly, numbers really don't matter to me, but they do matter to brands. And that's how, you know, blog, that's how bloggers make a living. Working with brands, affiliate net networking, all these things depend on numbers. Uh... I don't know what the secret sauce is for Instagram, but I haven't figured it out. I, definitely there's something to be said for, you know, really connecting with the brand, the, the followers you have, which is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be grateful for the followers I have and for the people who like my posts and who support me and who I'm consistently always, you know, getting feedback from you guys on my stories and you guys all respond and you're happy for me. You know, I'm trying my hardest to be grateful and focus on my 21,000 um, because there's some people who have a hundred and there's some people who'd kill for what I have and to really connect with the 21,000. Did you miss me? You're calling me so much. Huh? Huh? Did you miss me? Yeah. Why are you guys calling me so much? I don't know. Me and Grandma are looking for oxtail. We can't find it though. We Grandma? don't know if they ran out or something. You looking for oxtail, Grandma? Most of this. Mm -hmm. this the 21st. Right? Yeah. What's wrong? Apart from Christmas? Yeah, people don't even travel for Christmas like that. For some reason, people travel for Thanksgiving more. What other holidays do people travel for? Thanksgiving? Sorry, Christmas? Apart from Christmas and Thanksgiving. Fourth of July. Well, that's only an American thing. Yeah, that, but Thanksgiving is also only an American thing. Did you guys? Did you guys find the? Ox Are you gonna eat the whole entire turkey yourself? Huh? I can't. Can you bench the tuck turkey? Huh? You can bench the turkey. Yeah, of course. Are you sure? Yeah. Let me see you bench it. headed back out to the store again the good thing about today is that the store does not open tomorrow so if we forgot anything after this trip I won't have to go to the store again and this is why I participate in Friendsgivings and I am an active advocate of Friendsgivings over Thanksgivings. <laughs> Father have mercy. Mm -hmm. Any relationship that needs to be repaired, Father repair it for us in the name of Amen. Father Lord God, this home, Father, whatever it needs to function as a home for husband and wife, Father do it for us in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you Lord, we have oh, come God. this far. Father, our efforts will not be in vain in the name of Jesus. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. So it's like 4 p.m. right now. Um, I washed my hair, so that's why I'm looking this way. I'm just wearing like a sweatshirt, a dress. Uh, we are almost done cooking. Turkey's done, rice is done. I'm Nigerian, so our Thanksgiving consists of rice. We have mashed potatoes, but we didn't even bother making it. Um, and gravy. But it's gonna be rice, some salad, some turkey, some gizzards, um, some biscuits. It's a mix. It's a mix. So 
yeah we're eating now and then i have a few things to do for the blog i'm supposed to film today that's just not gonna happen filming today is not gonna happen after eating here i'm gonna head over to my friend's house and just say hello because i promised her i was gonna come over and most thanksgiving i do spend it at her house because i don't like to cook but my mom's in town and she wanted to cook so we cooked we cooked um i hope you guys are all having a wonderful thanksgiving of course by the time you see this it will be already december and we'll be talking about christmas but let's just say i'm wishing you a happy thanksgiving so making some dessert we're doing a brownie sunday we made brownies earlier on and this stuff isn't pretty but it tastes good okay okay all right <clears throat> so yeah we're making a little brownie sundae mm, 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 mm. Hey guys. oh my god i cannot believe it's like that i have not picked up the vlog camera all day it's 7 42. it's been an interesting day it's the day after thanksgiving <laughs> The morning was interesting. A lot of drama ensued. You know, when you have family around, um, some per sometimes personalities just just clash, you know? And we're about to eat some, I think it's Eritrean, Eritrean food. Some um, lamb. There's my little Sheikster sign. Happy holidays. <laughs> Anyways, we're about to eat some Eritrean food. I'm so excited. Alex's dad came through with some Eritrean food. I think some lamb. Basically what we ate yesterday, only from a different continent. A different part of the world. Yes, we got some lamb in here. And the TV is screaming, so I will talk to you guys soon. Taking time, a lot of time, mommy. Are we? Looking for what we need to look for. We'll okay, here. let's go. We'll come back here because I don't know if I have everything perfect. Table foosball. We're here for a mirror and to buy Christmas things. No, no, we're only supposed to be here for a mirror. Well, maybe they have Christmas things, so why don't we take advantage of it, huh? Huh? Look at this. To put on top of the tree? Maybe. The tree that we're not putting up, Alex? Oh, you're gonna be the tree? Hmm? Hopefully it can be standing on my head. Mm -hmm. Three videos, and I think it's like midnight. I love this hat. What do you guys think? Hmm? Um, yeah, I have to... Uh, move move the shooting into this room also now I have to shoot three looks for my holiday get ready with me and I don't even have any I don't even know what's gonna be in it <gasps> come out me happy Saturday guys I feel like I have not said a proper hello in a couple of days so I thought I would um, spent the morning just getting stuff, logistics and photographs and things like that got done for the blog. Um, say hi. Hi. Um, so yeah, I'm about to just get ready, get decent, look okay, and head out the house. I have some stuff to pick up because the best way to shop right now is order online and pick up in store. Okay? If you want it ASAP, order online and pick up in the store um we've started with the tree back there and of course you guys are going to get to see how we get this casa supple chic um christmas ready so i promised you guys that the next time you saw me i would look a little bit presentable about to head out to the mall um to pick up a few things so here's what i'm wearing my secret okay for looking cute when you're actually dressed like a bum is a great jacket this one i got last year from asos i think it's either i don't know the brand it's not an asos brand it's like new look or somewhere i'm actually wearing uh, sweatpants as you guys can clearly see and this but look at when you see me from the top don't i look fit together I'm 
currently at Target. I did a pickup in store, their little feature, but they only keep the items for 48 hours. Target, at least three days, thank you very much. So the whole point of coming in and out, that's gone. So guys, I just finished part of a video. It's December 1st, so I'm about to go watch everybody's Vlogmas videos. And of course, if you're watching this, you're watching my Vlogmas videos. So thank you for being super awesome. Also, I tried out the Sasha Matte um, Primer. So far, so good. I've had this makeup on for maybe three or four hours, so not that long. I am seeing some oil here and here and a little bit here. I don't think I put as much here. So this is what my skin looks like with no primer and this is what it looks like with primer. So you can compare and kind of see. The oil is coming through a little bit. So, um, so Alex, what time is it right now? I don't know. What, what were you just doing right now? Praying. You were just sleeping, honey. I heard you snoring. I was just yes, you were snoring. So what time is it now? And it's time for you to go to where? I'm um, going to make some dinner. Nah, it's time to go to bed. Uh, <clears throat> Alex is asleep. So guess what? Mommy's going to play. I have a doctor's appointment, so I'm not going to work tomorrow. So I figured, why not get started on some Christmas decor? My These, this is our color theme. It's going to be red and gold. So guys, this is what I've gotten done so far. I wanted to do um, the ribbon thing. This is my first year doing it. I'm vlogging from my phone because my camera died. She's coming out beautifully. <sighs> so guys, I think I'm done for today. I am going to probably do a few more things to the tree. This is what I ended up with. It's far from perfect. So this is supposed to be me. That's Alex. That's Alex's dad. So it's been a couple of hours since I last seen you. Our tree is there, the writhing in the background. Right now, I am trying on some of the items I picked up from Black Friday. Um, and my psychic is always never too far away. Well, because we are in the same building, mm. same house. Mm hmm. So what they don't tell you about being a YouTuber and about vlogging and Vlogmas is that your light bill's about to be up. Um, because I have to literally turn on lights all over the house so you guys can see me. We were listening to Christmas music earlier on and right now I'm trying on this robe, not robe. It, it does look like a robe. Hold on, let me just flip, flip it all around. This teddy coat is from Misguided. I will be doing a Misguided haul. Um, but yeah, it's. I feel like Ace, um, Misguided sizing is very similar to ASOS. This is a size 18. I'm really, I'm really like, I don't know, sensitive about my arms. For the most part, it's comfortable. I wish it was a teensy bit looser though. Um, but the body definitely fits and it's like double breasted. So you button it like so. And as you can see, I have a ton of room in this. I also 
<laughs> you hear Alex's <laughs> exclamation. I also picked up this oversized pom-pom sweater from ASOS during the Black Friday haul. Essentially, this is supposed to be my ugly Christmas sweater. So, ugly Christmas sweater, but make it fashion. Okay, with some high-waisted black jeans i think this would be fire and this is actually from the straight size section so yeah this is like a size 10 guys don't you ever 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 let sizing keep you from trying especially from a brand like asos that um that offers free shipping and returns yeah right now i'm actually going through um data from last year i'm looking to see what did well um around black friday what people clicked on and then i am also going through to see what did well around christmas time because you know you'll want to work smart not hard um and i used two platforms for my like gift guides i use shop style mainly reward style um, on the blog and I also use um, magic links um, if you want to join magic links if you happen to be a content creator I will put a link or my referral link down below so you can join let me just say I feel like magic links is the best overall platform if you have a small audience because they pay you per click they pay you per sale so, you know, you're, you're actually getting something back for your efforts and your time. Um, I don't know if you guys know how affiliate links work, but basically every time somebody clicks, depending on what platform you're on, if you're on a pay-per-click platform, every time somebody clicks a link, you get like four cents, five cents, ten cents. Um, now, if ten people happen to click that link, you've gotten a dollar. And I'm sure you're wondering, why does this matter? It matters because on average, it takes me between six to eight hours to write a, to write and put up a blog post. By the time you add in, you know, getting ready, makeup, hair, um, driving to the location, putting together the outfit, shooting the outfits, editing the outfits, um, editing the photos for the outfits, writing the copy for the blog post, getting the links for all the pieces I've worn um, in the look, and then publishing and then promoting it on Pinterest and adding it on Instagram and putting the right caption and getting people to click and using the right hashtag. It takes a lot of time to do to do this. Um, like every time I come back from a vacation for work, my I, my I think my coworkers are sometimes perplexed because they're like, "We just had like five days off. Why is this girl looking so tired?" It's because. I essentially work <laughs> almost seven days a week. I'm not complaining. I'm grateful that I'm able to create this community, that I'm able to build my platform, that I'm able to build my brand. Um, I have a lot to learn. I know. But I'm just grateful that I had this opportunity because think about it. 20 years ago, someone like me, just like a chubby girl who loved fashion, like... That was it, you know. Maybe I looked at some magazines. Maybe I had, like, posters on the wall. But I did not. There was no tool for me to affect any kind of change. For me to share my um, love with anyone. There was no tool for me to build a community online. So I'm really grateful for that. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff out here. Before I get into that, I thought I'd show you guys this sequin skirt that I picked out from ASOS, which will be in a blog post. So I picked up this sequin skirt from ASOS. It's like a midi skirt, rainbow colored, very festive. Um, I love the exposed zipper. This will be in a blog post. I am going to exchange it though. I got this in a 18. Definitely should have gotten it in a 16. <laughs> 